Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel. You're watching the Neo Linux introduction pack and today we well and truly finish basic training with Starlight Zone Act 2, which is to say stepping up to the stars. 10 lemmings and we must save all of them and this is going to test every little bit of metal that we have cobbled together, I'm sure. Nothing doing here in the way of instruction. We must learn this one completely on our own. There's no cloning going on, which is nice at least. So I think, haha, -ha, is this a trap? Is Dr. Eggman a trap? He is not. He's just, he's just here for the ride. So we're going to go ahead and use, I have a feeling that using a stacker is probably just a little bit too simple. We're going to have to contain them some other way. Yeah, that contains somebody. Uh, he might be able to... We might be able to send someone to walk back over that, actually. Maybe it's a little bit easy. Can you can you get over that, or are you stuck? No, he's stuck at that point. Let's do a, let's do a little bit of release rate shenaniganing here. Alright, let's bring it up just a little. Alright. And you come out, and as soon as he walks over it... Or he could... You know what? He could just... As soon as he walks up on top of it... We don't have to do release rate shenanigans at all. Just get that thing going. Alright, seven walkers. As soon as he walks up on top of the thing... Just have him walk back over. Okay, everybody's safe for now. So we're walking up the stars here. Alright, I think... And I think we're gonna use... I think we're gonna use the Jenks case that we used last time. This is <laughs> this is still funny to me. Okay, so yep, Jank and walk. Here we go. All right, it's got to be I think just a little bit, and then we're done. No, that doesn't work. Huh? Let's let's back that up. I I think it mostly has to work. Where do we want a platform to? We want a platform to about... Yeah, I think we're going to be bashing and platforming to here, are we not? Maybe we want to use that somewhere else, but... No, we, we have to have something to reach the exit here. So, this kind of has to work. Maybe we just have to do it from a different spot. Let's try... Let's try from a little farther back. Let's... It's okay to get a little weird. Let's try it. Okay, uh, 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 uh. Uh, okay, that's one too high. That's... But that's also too high. That's... That's a bit of a problem. Maybe we want to... We can't do it... We can't very well do it turning around. Hmm... We've got two bashers. Is that... Is that useful? We may be able to... You know what? Maybe we blocked the wrong way starting out. Let's go ahead and... All right... Let's try bashing. We can bash through here. And then just walk it back. There we go. So now we have a fencer and a stacker to help us out with this. That might prove... That might prove a little more... little more helpful. Alright, so I'm going to try it now. Same deal where... Where I fence up into this guy... I'm still going to make a walker about near the end of the tunnel. Okay, kind of dupe, dupe it up. Okay, so now if you go here. Huh, okay, that's, that's a little interesting. I think that's going to end up shutting folks out though. Am I, am I wrong about that? That's going to get them trapped in back in here. Yeah, that's not going to work. So, what then? Do I want to make it a little... Okay, no, 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 no. Walk. Okay. Oh, no! Somehow it worked this time? Okay, sure, whatever. And we have a basher to go through here with. Alright. Hmm. Maybe we want to do the same thing here? Yeah, we definitely had to get it just right going in here. But now I have a feeling I may have actually needed that stacker down here. We may need our basher more up top. Yeah, because we have... 
Yeah, we have a miner here. Yeah, I think we're gonna want to use a basher to block at the beginning. Whoops. Okay, because this can be done with the fencer, so we've proven that. We've proven that it can be done with just the fencer. Okay, so go ahead and do that. That turns everybody around. You're gonna walk up onto there, and then boom. All right, now... All right. You just gotta get way up in the crook, and you have to do this at exactly the right time. Okay. No. Where's my walker? Come on. Come here. Okay, yeah. It's it's replicable the same way every time. Okay, very good, very good, very good. Okay, so we're moving along. This is... Okay, yeah. This is kind of... This isn't the final test of all our skills. That's going to be advanced training. But, okay, we're probably going to be doing sort of the same thing here, I think imagine okay so you go through and right before you would bash nope nope right before you would end that no that's not enough of a step okay crunch crunch a little bit of land remaining there we go okay <laughs> this will never stop being funny to me okay so what we want to do then okay we've got all right, we've got one more basher, which means we're going to be using our fencer to do a staircase like that here and our miner to do one like that here. So just a quick bash ought to get us up the way. Don't need to do very many frames at all. There we go. <laughs> all righty, so we're making our way, making our way downtown. Okay. All right, so what's going to be the magical pixel that seals the deal this time i think that's gonna be it right there it sure is okay yeah i'm getting used to this i'm getting used to the flavor of the of the magical staircase how often are we gonna be using this trick that might be that might make things a little okay so everybody can walk safely everywhere so i think i think i've probably been given a few more walkers than necessary at least one Okay, so we're wanna, gonna wanna crunch through here and boop, and I think youp and just a little bit more. Yeah, right there. There we go. And oh no, we don't have an extra platformer. We use it to end our. We use it to end this one prematurely. There we go. So that everybody can get into the exit. Hooray. Okay, now we've passed basic training. I got a little ahead of myself yesterday. Let's, uh, let's walk into the ancient wall of text here. Everybody is safe. Everybody is happy. There we go. Okay, now we have done it. Well done. Be sure to still check out the advanced training rank, though. There are still quite a few tricks and techniques that will help you in your future quests to save the lemmings. Um tricks that we may or may not be told about let's plunge right ahead into advanced training advanced yeah all women's accounted for we did it so that was the final text of that level and now we move on to the real meat of the neo Wimix introduction pack this is where things are going to get i think probably a little wild a little hairy stepping up to a higher level indeed 20 lemmings must save all of them wonder if that's going to be the trend for advanced training where we have to save everybody let's get right into the medieval spirit of things welcome to the advanced training rank here we will go over some more precise and less intuitive tricks i guess we're going to have things explained all the way through i think maybe the real test is playing like other people's packs maybe this explains oh okay okay as a result, the trading puzzles here will get a bit tougher as well. First, show me you've paid attention so far and did not skip the last few ranks. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, here's the test. No cheating. No looking at anyone else's paper. Here we go. All right. We're going to have to use everything we have learned here. All right. One builder to get through this. Okay. All right. So we've got a blocker. Eight walkers. A climber, a blocker, a platformer, a builder, and a basher. Okay. Well, now, now I feel a little... 
Now I feel a little nervous. Now I feel like I'm in some truly... Okay. 20 lemmings and I have to save all of them, you say? Okay. So... We don't have any, like, bashing tasks that are going to help us out. Okay. What we could theoretically do here... We do have five bashers. That is quite a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and start... Boy, they're coming out fast, too. I think what we may be able to... What we want to do first is maybe get a climber going. Something nice and safe. Um, okay. Can he stretch all the way across to here? Without... Yeah, he'll, he'll end his platform a little prematurely, which is good. Okay. I don't think we want to go across the way here. I think we want to kind of bash our way through here. I think that might be the way we want to get this working. Okay, off here is edge of the screen. I wonder if this little overhang is important somehow. Okay, but if I do this, then I have no way of getting them up to the top. And that, my friends, is bad. Maybe we want to do a series of staircases here. Maybe a series of basher staircases. That would be... That would be pretty silly, but I think it's actually manageable. Let's see about it. Will it take... Okay. Dut, dut. Okay, and then walk. Okay, that gets us some height in there. Yeah, let's go ahead and build to here. I think we're going to have this guy be a... Yeah, I think we're going to have this guy be a blocker right here. And we're going to save him with... Okay. I think that may be it. Okay, I think I'm... I think I'm learning. Okay. Do, do... Okay. Just as soon as you can make him do it, have him walk. Okay. Yeah, very good. Hopefully, it only takes four... Because it's going to take one basher to get all the way through here. So, I think the idea is... You bash... Okay, I'd like one guy... Okay, if one guy is visible, then I'd like to see him do it. I think we're going to be able to get up here with just four bashers. Looks to be the case. Yeah, there we go. Absolutely. Oh, fantastic. Okay, here we go. And then we put a blocker right here. We need to give ourselves enough time to make him... Okay... This goes through all the way to the end. Very good. Yeah, okay, we have been paying some attention. We should we should believe in ourselves a little. This looked a little intimidating, but you just got to put together, you just got to add up the skills that you've used in the right way. And that's going to be where advanced training really gets us. Okay, so bop through. We got to make sure everybody is turned around before we free our walker. There we go, so... There we go. Twice, because one to get him going left and one to get him going back to the right. Everybody is saved, and we even have two walkers left over. How about that? So, not too shabby. Nice little nice little first level there. Ooh, and uh, everything was nice about it. I love single screeners. Those are great. I really feel like I'm... Like my, like my brain is activated. I've turned a key. I've flipped a switch. I think... Hopefully it's going to start falling into place for me. I am prone to brain farts, missing obvious things. Please don't scream at the screen too much, but I think we're going to try our hand at at least one more. Bending bashers. Ten lemmings must save all ten. What does bending bashers mean? Well, well the, title, the title may be the clue here. Let's figure it out. If placed correctly, two builder bridges can keep a basher going as he traverses downwards on them. The two builders need to be placed in such a way that the bottom one serves as the basher's floor, while the top provides him something to bash. Oh, that's a that's a dirty, that's a dirty little how do you do? Okay, so what we are going to do then? Two diggers. Okay, how do we want to do this? We just want to get. Uh, okay, yeah, climber and floater, obviously. All right, here we go. We're gonna really, we're gonna really use our noggins on this one. This one is gonna get wild and wacky. Okay, so how do we want to do this then? 
I think what we may want to do here is dig into here so that we build right here. Okay. All right. Okay, just a second. Let's see here. What's the best way to do this? Just one guy. But we've got to make two bridges happen. All right. So... What we're going to do then... Hmm... Okay, he's going to go up over in here. It's definitely going to be in this little area, but how are we going to arrange them? We've got to make the bottom one first, because he won't be able to climb over the top one if we do it that way. So, but the question is kind of, where do we dig? gonna go ahead and kind of make it a little I'm gonna split the difference real quick and see what that does and of course I'm gonna make him a footer because he's gonna end up falling at some point I still have one digger I could do this well I have two diggers I was kind of like acting like I only had one let's go ahead and make him a floater and do it exactly in this little nook here I think that's right here all right, and then as soon as you hit the ground, all right, let's do something like this. Well, see, no, 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 no. I left the little overhang right there. That's what I did not want to do. Okay, so do 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 do. Yeah, that ought to work. Let's let's do it. Still a floater. Well, he's a digger right now. It's not going to show us right now. There we go. That's a lot better. Okay, so I'm going to try to go from this edge first. Now, what I probably want to do is dig maybe on this little pixel right here. That might actually work out for me. If I can dig right there and get away with digging right there, then I really feel a lot better oh yes very nice okay so now we will kind of get a little roof going here and if i've done this right then it should align in such a way that we'll be able to bash through here he'll come down and do one basher through that way and that <laughs> okay so we want to keep it probably all right so we want to do, we want to go from about, I think right here probably ought to do it. Um, let's go ahead and see, let's go ahead and see about it. Okay, so far we've only got, okay, so far we've only got the shadow going to here. We may have to wait for the complete bridge to see how it shakes out. How is it going to happen for us? Okay, is this now possible? That's what we need to see. Did we do this correctly? It looks like we did okay yeah so I should be able to cut through here and it should be able to go in such a way now I hope I don't leave diagonal pieces here that they can walk back up over that would be a disaster actually no it looks like I'm leaving a full bridge and it looks like I'm doing it the way it's intended oh ooh, 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 that is that is dirty pool my friends that is Ugh, that is why that's a little bit like that uh like that dove limbs level i like talking about uh but that one used a lot more builders and theoretically i guess only two were needed but i feel like that one had a little bit messier terrain that necessitated needing all those builders i reminisce about that level a lot i, I should probably look up what that level is actually called uh <laughs> Uh, you should you should remember the names of things that you really like in order to honor them, I believe. Uh, not that not saying that you can't be a fan of things that you don't remember the name of. It's like, oh, you know, you love that character so much and you don't even know the name of the actor who plays him. That's a little crappy. But like, you know, do honor to the things you love. I really got to look up that Dove Limbs level. Do honor to the things you love by knowing the names of them. Knowing something's name bestows a kind of like i mean there's no, really no other way to say it there's just bestows a kind of honor on it and that's that's all there is to it a little little philosophy from uncle roundy to end your day we'll continue next time with advanced training this is getting uh this is getting pretty uh 